Eating barbell slash dumbbell curl. I'll give it an average tier, bro. All right, so do I agree with this list right here? I probably agree with 90% of it. Simple fitness, where I explain fitness in, well, simple terms. About curls. This is a good exercise that targets your biceps well. You can achieve a good stretch and a good contraction of the barbell bicep. Barbell curls. However, this exercise is not bad and goes into the nice tier. I give now it we have a very the preacher good barbell curl. Let me start off by saying that pretty much every preacher curl variation is good. That is because you have stability for your arm by placing your elbow on a pad. You can really, quote unquote, control the weight, which is why you can achieve a good stretch and a good contraction. The easy bar barbell curl. Agreed. This exercise is the better version of the regular barbell curl. You can pretty much do everything with this exercise without any wrist discomfort. I find it to be easier on the shoulders as well, and therefore it goes into the very good tier. Right, a step yeah, above I the regular barbell curl. Now, the cheating barbell slash dumbbell curl. Mm. Why? Why do I still see people do this exercise? I thought we left this in the golden era of bodybuilding. It's not good. Please tell me any good reason why we would, when performing I think a good bicep the exercise, say, swing the weight up with help from our hips, our legs, and our shoulders. Whether you do this one with a barbell or with dumbbells, it doesn't really matter because this is going into the wide tier. I'll give it an average tier, bro. Like, if you're trying to get an extra three to five extra reps, I say you could probably cheat those a little bit, but I say control it more on the way down. So I'll put it more in the average tier for me. That isn't to say that cheating is always bad. In fact, it can be very beneficial. For example, when pushing past failure after having done some strict standing barbell curls, like this can actually be very good because it allows you to get that extra rep in. However, doing these kinds of reps on every rep just serves no purpose. I okay, so first is the normal dumbbell curl. Just the regular one you see on screen now, no matter if you do it sitting or standing. This is the basis of bicep movements. It's not anything special. Therefore, it goes into the very good tier. Then we have hammer curls. Now, hammer curls are great. Uh, underrated, bro. And that is that I find them to be, well, not that good at hitting the biceps. They are mainly a forearm movement. Therefore, they go into the average tier. Yeah. The preacher dumbbell curl. As I've already stated, every preacher curl is pretty good. This one in particular is brilliant. The reason why I find this one to be better than the barbell variation is because you can focus on each bicep independently. I find that this greatly reduces muscle imbalances I'll put that more in the and therefore this one goes yeah. straight into the gun tier. Other curls. Now, most of the time when an exercise gets popular on social media, it is probably not good. This one is an exception. This exercise is great, mainly because of the absolutely fantastic stretch you can achieve I without your give my If you haven't tried this one yet, I highly recommend you integrate this exercise into your program. It goes into the guns tier. No then way. we have curls you do with an arm blaster. No matter whether you do this with a barbell or dumbbells, this is a good exercise because it teaches you how to engage your biceps. It will stimulate the mind. Just use your lats. Make your arms look way bigger whenever you're like recording. Now, so if you are a more give it advanced a lifter, I don't think you will benefit decent. hugely from this. However, if you are a beginner, it will like teach you how to activate, engage, and control your biceps. Therefore, this exercise is very good. The incline dumbbell curl. This exercise is nice. I personally mm. am I a fan one. of this exercise. However, I recognize here. that there are some problems associated with this exercise. That is mainly your shoulder's position. Your shoulders are now- Oh, I don't have it like that. I have it like more towards where, when you do like a shoulder press, that's where I have it. I don't lean all the way back In like front this. of your body. They kind of lean forward. Therefore, it is very easy to actually get your shoulders to help you by lifting the weight, which we don't really want. Moreover, because of this position, you aren't allowed to move a lot of weight really. Therefore, you don't load the biceps as much as you could. That being said, for some reason, I do think this exercise feels really, really good and the pump is really, really good. It might not be a good exercise from a technical perspective, but because I'm a fan of it, I'm going to let my bice take over and place this into the nice tier. Concentration curls, probably Arnold's favorite oh, exercise, bro, I don't really but do these. is it for good reason? Well, yes, they do hit the biceps quite effectively, but I also kind of feel like this is just a B-Tech version of the Dumbbell Preacher curl. Yeah, I'll probably give it like average. Like person, these go into the nice tier. Oh, Crossbody hammer curls, basically a better version of the regular hammer curls. At least, again, that is for the biceps, not the forearms. I find that it allows you to hit the long head of the bicep very, very well. Therefore, it goes into the very good tier. Now, let's move on. The behind the back K 
cable curl. Personally, this is my absolute favorite bicep exercise. Why? Well, you can achieve the perfect stretch. You can achieve the perfect contraction. The position of your arm no and the fact that this is a cable means that your biceps will be loaded throughout the whole movement. Yeah, I just don't have much else to say, but it goes into the guns. Ain't no fucking way. The what? Here, Bro, after I, that, the regular cable out? curls. These are not bad, but simply don't stack up to the aforementioned exercise. You can still do them, for sure. I prefer to do them with a rope attachment instead I of a straight bar attachment because this is easier on my I, wrists. I if you are these. a fan of this exercise, it is for good reason. Then, the preacher cable curls. The king of preacher curls. Now, pretty much every cable variation is going to be good because cables allow you to load the biceps in pretty much every position. Combine I'll do this with the stability of no the one in the curl, gym self like runs. Some people actually consider this a bicep exercise. But to me, there's absolutely no reason for someone that wants to grow their biceps to do this exercise over some others I've already mentioned. This is a great back builder, don't get me wrong, I will make a back tier list soon, but for biceps only, it's an inferior choice. It's not easy to progressively overload on this as well, which is why it goes into the Y tier. Resistant band curls. Yeah, again, kind of the same story. It's pretty much impossible to overload on this exercise. Yeah, you are not those. going to grow big arms from doing F this. Here. It goes into the Y tier. Waiter curl. And oh god, I just noticed that we are on a is pretty much no reason to perform this instead of other exercises. It goes into the white tier. Finally, we are going to break the bad streak by discussing machine preacher curls. These are great because they keep the tension on your biceps throughout the whole movement, just like the cable variation. Yeah, I like doing the single but arm like personally, this, I found that these machines are not built for me. They are not built for everyone. However, because of the increased tension, I do still want to put them above the I'll regular like bar a, preacher a curl variation. However, it's not going to be above the dumbbell variation and definitely not the cable variation. Therefore, it goes into the nice tier. That was it. Keep in mind that this is my opinion. If you really enjoy an exercise that I ranked low, then keep doing that exercise. If it works for you, if it works for growth, strength, whatnot, then that is the most important thing. However, if you look at it from a more technical perspective, I recommend you at least think about the things I've said. Now, all right, so do I agree with this listener here? I probably agree with 90% of it. I probably do have biases myself. So, Again, I'll probably put the cheating barbell curls on average just for the sake of maybe the extra three to like five reps at the end. I actually got to try those spider curls, bro. He, he, he hyped it up too much for me not to try them. I'll move the arm, this one, the regular barbell curls to very good because I have biases. I love to do those. I'll put the concentration curls at average just because I don't really do them. The spider curls and then the cable curls. I actually got to try those. I hardly ever do those. I like using like the dumbbell and like the just that barbell movement and then with the preacher curls as well. So let me know what kind of bicep exercise you guys prefer over the other ones. Do you guys agree with this list? I'm about to give this video a like. All right, so we're about to end the video right here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this video down below. And I don't really have